Create a new test order. The designation can be freely chosen. Now select the desired parameter sets in the planning. We test the patterns of CHD with Vickers 1 and the 10 times objective. Go to the live image. For scanning the outer edge, you need to find the edge of the sample at any point. Select the Scan button to enter the scan menu. Select Scan Outer Edge for a contour scan. Among the settings on the right of the menu, you can define the scan settings even further. The settings can improve the scan quality or the speed of scanning. Once the scan of the contour is finished, the scan image is displayed. To use this image later in the part recognition, save it under any name. Now define the starting points of the hardness curves by selecting the Edit button row. You can define start points and the direction of the individual hardness curves directly in the scan image. Then choose for the test series already created patterns and parameter sets of coordinates. Confirm the selection with the button Take Over. To edit multiple rows at the same time, mark it by holding the left mouse button and driving over the list. The newly created row can be controlled with the editing function. Move the mouse cursor on a row in the scan image until it appears in a different color. Is a row selected, an edit button will appear next to the starting point. By selecting this button you enter a new edit menu. Now you can create a quick link. The quick link facilitates the positioning of the test series on a new sample with the same or similar form. Select the Quick Link button in the menu bar. Look in the scan image for a significant point on the sample which you can quickly find again. Click on this point. By moving the mouse you can adjust the angle. Click again to save the Quick Link. Now you can define helplines in your scan image. First choose the menu button in the menu bar. Choose polygonal lines in the submenu. This example shows how to use polygonal lines to find the contour of the sample. The elements set individually, so the test series, the quick link and the polygon rows are now saved as a series of patterns. Select in the menu right above the register Pattern. Click on New and assign it a freely chosen name for this series pattern. Save the pattern of the sample. You can now assign a scan image from the database to the newly saved pattern. Select the button next to Record Chat. A list with all stored scan images appears. It makes sense to select the newly created scan image. The software will now switch into the data view. In the data tree you can recognize the three test series CHD. It is now possible to drive to all three starting points and check them in the live image. Select the button Series Measurement in the menu bar and select in the next screen Yes to check the starting points of the rows. The software switches into the live image. Click on the edge of the specimen to accurately position the row starting points on the edge. Click the right mouse button on the test row and hold the mouse button to change the direction. Select the next button to confirm the changes. Process in this way with the other starting points. When all starting points were confirmed by the user, the fully automatic test procedure begins. 
The indentations are set. The row and the point that is currently being edited appear in the scan image in green in the middle of the screen. In addition, the current point in the list is highlighted in blue. After all the indentations of the first series of the pattern are set, they will be automatically measured. For this, the individual indentations will be positioned. The zoom step is defined in the set of parameters. Thereafter, the light will be automatically controlled. Before auto measurement, the autofocus will be automatically adjusted and the light will be automatically controlled again. You can see the hardness value obtained now in the list on the top of the screen. The hardness value in the upper part is always the last evaluated indentation. The resulting hardness profile is displayed at the top of the screen immediately after the evaluation of the individual indentations. For the last indentation of this test series, a different load step was chosen. The load step will be changed automatically. On the list you can see that the previous indentations were measured Vickers 1 and only the last one Vickers 5. After the first series was completed, the second series will be examined. The procedure is the same as in the first test series. Now the second series of tests appears green on the scan image. The image of the evaluated indentation on the right side of the screen as well as the hardness value in the upper portion belong to the last measured indentation. In the right window you can see the progress of the procedure and the current process. You can recognize the diagram of the current series at the top of the screen. Now the third test series will be measured. You can recognize the current worked of test series on the green color. After the completion of the measurement, the result is displayed in the data view. Here you can see the individual hardness values in the list and the run plotted in the graph. Click the right mouse button on the order in the data tree and select Print Picture Editor to edit the scan image for the report. You can vary the font size with the bar at the bottom of the screen. At the right of this bar you will find the bar to regulate the line size. By activating the box Number, the indentations of the series are numbered. Select the button Distance from the menu bar to define significant lengths in the scan image. Click on one end of the distance and drag the cursor onto the other end and click again to finish. Select the button Text to open a text field in the scan image. At the point where you click after activating the text button, the text font will appear. Choose the Save button in the menu bar to save your changes. 
By selecting the button Close, you get back into the data view.